Hey team, Dave Spaulding, Handgun Combatives. I want to apologize to you right up front because I've got a bit of laryngitis, but I think you can probably hear me well enough today so that you can understand what we're going to talk about. I got with me here Bob Mazaris, the Good. owner operator of Templar Custom Arms. And what we're going to introduce to you today is a new product. Now, I'm really excited about this product because I'm one of those people that have average to small hands. For a man, I have very small hands. There's been times in the past I've had to buy women's gloves in order to get them to fit properly. How many of you out there have a hard time reaching the trigger of your chosen carry pistol and because you can't get your finger right up flush on the trigger face, you push it over to the left or right? I'm one of those people. Talking about this to Bob over the last couple of years, I said, Bob, I really like the Glock pistol, but I wish it had a short trigger. Well, guess what? Bob's worked on that, and now we have what he calls yes, the fact. Okay. Well, David, as you know, it's been a couple of years in the making, um, and there's a lot of short reset triggers on the market that are very good. Short reset, but what about short reach? But not short reach. Right. Um, so, again, this has all, all been done with Glock, all Glock parts. Um, they, they have been, uh, you know, my machining on them and my, my changes, but uh, the big thing about this is that we've moved everything backwards. If you have short hands, small hands, you can get in the center of the trigger right. very good. It is still a very short reach trigger. Mm -hmm. Five pounds, perfectly safe. All the safeties are factory and still engaged. Right, that's, that's really important. This is a modification of a Glock factory trigger. Mm -hmm. It's not made it lighter, it's still 5.5 pounds. Yes. It's shorter, so you can get your finger up on the trigger face yep. properly. Yep. Right. And how it, how it depresses. Right. Um, you know, everybody knows that 1911 being a, a rearward depressing trigger is right. really the best. Right. Well, this change on this one is, if you look at it, the, the end of the trigger point is in line with oh, the pivot. No, wait a minute, Bob. This gun is cocked, because it looks to me like it's at rest. Correct. That's, that's one of the beauties of this. And again, for everybody, we of course have an empty weapon. So, although it still pivots, it gives the impression as you're depressing the trigger that it's moving straight back, just like a 1911. Because the curvature of the trigger face is further back. Further back. Right. So it's straight down from the pivot. Right, right. Now, go ahead and keep your finger on that trigger and cock it. Let me see what the reset looks like. Whoa. And that's a solid reset too. Very solid, very, very tactile. Very solid reset. Yep. So basically what you're telling me is when you moved everything back for the initial reach, it also shortened the length of travel for the reset. Absolutely. Great. Now, this probably isn't something that you just kind of dreamt up and did in the weekend. No, no, this is, this is a long time coming. We have right. many, many hours on a CMM mapping geometries doing many failures. Many failures. That's not cheap stuff either. No, no. There's, there was a lot of money put into this, um, but I, I, I believe the results are. Just, I'm very happy with it. Well, now let me ask you this, Bob. My understanding was initially you wanted to get a drop-in trigger, and you kind of dropped back from that. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not saying that it might not happen in the future, mm -hmm. but right now it's going to be, a, a, you know, a fitted trigger at Templar. Right. So it's pretty much a fact that the fact trigger is gonna be the best combat trigger you've ever used, provided you've got medium to small hands. Yes. Definitely. Now, but it seems to me, if we're looking at this gun, there's a lot of people out there that like to do the trigger tap mm -hmm. where they come all the way off and catch it. It seems to me that for that type of person- It would work also. They're gonna really like right. that. Something else, although although the short reach mm -hmm. is, is a very important part of what we've done, right. with the fitted trigger, if we do them in the shop, knowing your hand size, knowing where you're going to put things, I can literally put this trigger geometry package right. any place in the whole realm of the Glock trigger. Okay, now I also noticed that that safety lever popped out. Of course. Are all the safety mechanisms in place on this? Absolutely. So even though you moved everything back, the drop plunger, everything is operational? Yep. Absolutely. Wow. That is an exciting development for folks like me. What do you say, let's go over there and let's shoot it a little bit and see how fast we can get this thing to go. Great. Good deal, let's do it. Okay, Bob, we're here on the Brady Lake Range outside of Kent, Ohio. As you can see, we just wrapped up a critical space close quarter yep. pistol class. You were a student in that class. Mm -hmm. You sucked, but that's a different story. <laughs> that's <Okay>? right. <laughs> but what we're gonna do, we thought we'd go ahead and leave this target up 
and we run this gun a little bit yep. for uh, for the students. Now, this is a Templar Custom Arms custom gun, but it doesn't have to be a custom gun for this trigger. Does Absolutely it? not. Yeah. What we got here is basically a, what I call a handgun combatives package, grip reduction, rounded trigger guard, carry bevel package. In this particular case, instead of serrations, we put kind of slide indents in it. We've got the extended uh, suppressor Surprise barrel girl. and all that kind of stuff, and the uh, the Spalding Americlo sights, mm -hmm. sights that I happen to like a lot, obviously. Why don't we go ahead and put some bullets in this, and let's see how fast we can run this gun, if it's going to make a difference. Let's do it. Okay, let's set it up. Okay, Bob, what can I expect from this trigger? Well, because it's shorter, but for, of course with your hands, you'll be able to get squarely on the trigger pad okay. and be able to depress it straight to the rear. Okay. Let's get a shot. Take a look at it. Whoa! That is pretty slick. There's no glitches. There's no catches. It literally feels like a 1911 other than it pivots from the top. Right. But it's very, very short and that trigger face is very, very flat. Let's take a look again here. That's pretty damn fast. Yeah. That is really fast. This probably isn't the trigger for the novice, is it? No, it is not. Yeah, this is the trigger for a more advanced shooter. Wow, recoil control's good too. Yes. Man, I can get that gun back on target fast. Nice. If your hand, if, if you have a smaller hand, and, right. you, and you struggle with reaching way out for that trigger, yeah. it's almost impossible for recoil control because you're just not doing something that's natural. I was literally just doing this. Yes. Very, very fast. Folks, I think what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a big demand for this trigger. The fast action combat trigger, or the fact trigger from Templar Custom Arms. Yep. Bob, thank, thank you for you. taking the time. This is an outstanding product. Thank you.